I want you to teach me how to be mad. He plans to trap himself a fairy and to return to England with it and restore magic to its rightful place. Yes! I should take something of the ladies to signify my claim. Who was the last English magician you dealt with? I do not have to tell you that. What token did he give you? I do not. Bring it to me. Are you alive? She has forgotten you. What? Do you wish to dance with me, sir? Stop! Oh! I demand that you give me back my wife! Can I not help you? When the time is right, you will know. You must deliver three messages. Three messages. You understand? Show me this book if there is one. Let us kill him. You would discover I am very hard to kill. Oh, no. Sir, please, no! He told me I would be king. Of course you will, dear Stephen. He has it written all over him. It says the magicians will fail. Letters from the Lord's Lieutenant of Lincolnshire, Yorkshire, Cornwall, Somerset, and Warwickshire, all complaining of the disruptive new magic which has recently been seen in those counties. We all, I'm sure, can report similar stories. The mirrors of England are broken. We now border upon land about which no one knows anything. Mr. Strange has opened the doors between England and the other realms. And in doing so, he has brought magic flooding back in. We do not know his reasons. It is said he has gone mad. It is said he is returning from Venice and bringing his black tower with him. assume he is coming here and that he means to do us harm. Before these men, before Mr. Strange and Mr. Norrell, magic was dead in England. It was part of history and not, not respectable. I deeply regret my part in bringing it back to life. It should have been left alone. It entails nothing but horrors. To speak personally for a moment. To speak personally, I can scarcely describe my feelings. It is not treason exactly what Mr. Strange has done. Lady Pole. Lady Pole. I suppose it is a please wake up. It is a species of revolution. <laughs> Where is Mr. Norrell, sir? Mr. Norrell has returned to Yorkshire. <laughs> I must say, I find it hard to think of any more distasteful report that has ever been delivered to this house. With that in mind, I tender my resignation as a Minister of the Crown and a member of this house. Stephen, good morning. Will you prepare my carriage? I would like to visit my wife. Oh, Fender! 
Oh, goodness, you are here. Oh, oh. You were to remain at Venice until Strange left. I told you that plainly. You'll you have to take me to London. Why did you not kill him? No one would have known. <laughs> I would have done it. Go to Venice and try. Where is he now? What did he say? He's trapped within an awful tower of black. Oh, Henry, the terror of it. He's plotting. Plotting what? Revenge. He gave me a letter for Lady Pole and... Show me. I've already sent it. What else? And to, to tell the children as that Noel had a fairy to help him raise Lady Pole. He sold her. And to give children mass proof of what Noel's done. A box with instructions inside. Give them to me. No, I must give them to children mass. He is to take them to Lady Poe when, when Strange sends word. Give them the... to me. <laughs> and I am to tell uh, Norrell that, uh, that Strange is, is coming back. <gasps> oh. Disgusting, superstitious nonsense. You are a fool. I must deliver it! It's important instruction! Strange you would kill me! Ah, ah, Do you not understand? Ah, ah, Your messages will never be delivered except the one for Norrell, and that I shall deliver myself. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, please, please. Do you honestly believe I would allow you to destroy Norrell? Which is to say, destroy me. Henry, please, please. It is well you have come, sir. Lady Pole has taken to her bed for some days now. We cannot wake her, sir, as much as we have tried. The doctors have found nothing. It is our belief, sir, that Lady Pole is not mad at all. We believe she is under an enchantment. Who writes to my wife? Jonathan Strange. May I speak with you a while? It would be a pleasure. I've been in contact with your husband. I am to watch over you. When the time of our disenchantment comes, I will show you the path. Until then, please try to hold some memory of who you once were. And of your husband. Husband. My ladies, this is the very picture of beauty. To see my two rarest and finest flowers entwined so happily. You know, it is said that in the lands on the far side of hell, they dance a dance of three partners. I was taught it once 4,000 years ago, but sadly, I have forgotten the steps, so I shall content myself with just one partner, my lady. Allow me. Stay safe, my friend. Coachman made a leisurely ride of it, I see. Where's Drawlight? Yes, yeah, Strange gave Drawlight a message. What does he say? He says that he is coming. That is all. Strange is coming to England? To you, sir. To do what? 
to fight, to exact his supposed revenge. Oh, my dear Lord. But, sir. No, no, sir, sir, this is our chance to destroy him completely. Establish you as the only authority on magic in the realm. To fight? What on earth were you thinking? To come here without draw, like, where is he? He's gone back to Bruton Street. Bruton Street? Our Lucas will fetch him. They'll have him here by tomorrow. Lucas! No, 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 no. He's gone to visit an uncle in Chatham. Where? In Chatham. I do not know. I need to strengthen the labyrinth around my library. I will be safe there. We must hurry. Bloody useless. I have been wondering, have there ever been magical duels in the past? Struggles between magicians, that sort of thing. Rouse Stokes seems to have fought two or three magicians by magic. Then there is a curious tale of the Cumbrian charcoal burner. Did such duels ever result in the death of one of the magicians? What? Uh, no, I do not think so. The magic must exist, surely. If you gave your mind to it, I dare say you could think of half a dozen spells that would do the trick. Or you could make one up. I do not make magic up. It would be like a common duel with pistols or swords. It would be no question of prosecution. It will not come to that. I did Mr. Nora, what else could it possibly come to? Magic has apparently returned to England. England needs a magical leader. You, sir, we must clear your path of every obstacle. Fear not, sir. I will help. I will advise. I will be with you all the way to the top. What do your little cards say now? They say you are a liar and a thief. They say that you have been given something, an object of great value. It is meant for me, and yet you retain it. Dare you address a gentleman in such a fashion? Is it the act of a gentleman to steal from me? You horse! You dregs of every Yorkshire gutter! Apologize! Better a horse than a thief. I will teach you better manners. It is done. We are safe as long as we remain in this room. Mr. Lascelles. He called me a thief! He is a thief. He stole this. Mr. Strange sent it. And my guards say Drawlight is dead. So what colors will this man show when Strange arrives? This is Lauren to himself, who received gifts from your enemy. Your enemy meant me to take it to Lady Pole. With your permission, sir, that is what I will do. No. No, you do not have my permission. You cannot take it. Goodbye, Mr. Norrell. You've made the wrong choice, sir, as usual. Traitor. Yellow Knight. If I were you, Mr. Lascelles, I would speak more guardedly. You're in the North now. Our laws were made by the Raven King. Our towns and abbeys were founded by him. Mr. Norrell's house was built by him. He's in our minds and hearts and speech. And he's coming back. Julemas. Give me the box. The Raven King. Always the last resort of vulgar minds. Come here and face me! Mr. Lascelles! We must leave the library! Come back! Mr. Lascelles! Stay with me, you're getting lost! Mr. Lascelles! Mr. Norrell, unlock this door! Mr. Norrell! Mr. Norrell! 
prevent fairies stealing away Christian men and women. Or should I suppose myself capable of something he was not? Where is Childermas? He is gone. He received a, a box from you and he left. I like your labyrinth. He was Hickman. The chef, a minor scholar, but very good at labyrinths. It was meant to be impenetrable. How did you break it? I did what I usually do. Copied you and added some refinements. Please! Please, Mr. Strange! Please! It is not I. It is the fairy's curse. The spell goes stronger and I weaker. I do not have much time. What did you expect? Opening the pathways to other lands, breaking everyone's mirrors. Disreputable magic, sir! This is its consequence! I may not have your imagination, sir. I may not be as daring a magician, but... You do yourself a disservice, Mr. Norrell. I'm sorry I laughed. You have not come here to kill me? No, sir. But I've been your enemy. Yes. I've slandered and plotted against you. Why are you not angry? Because I do not have the time. My wife is stolen and I am dying. This darkness will kill me before I can save her if I work alone. Alone? You wish something from me? What is it? What I've always wanted, sir. Your help. Someone mistook it for an apple, Mr. Honeyfoot. Or Mr. Black. Childermas. I wish to speak urgently to your master. He's with Mr. Strange. Excuse my interruption. Mr. Strange. 
Strange sent this to me. I think he intended that we use it to help your wife. And it is true. I had thought this the ravings of a man. Is it from Strange? May I see it? He writes that you serve this creature, Stephen. Sir, whose servant have you been? Support. You have betrayed the trust of my family. Please, sir. You have colluded in the theft and torture of your lady. Please, sir. May I speak freely? There was once a priest. What? There was once a priest called Eridorus who, who hid, in, hid himself in, in the hollow beneath the tree. Hey, no, 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 hey, please. You are a savage. Hey, it's hey, not the The Lord is a community. What is the name? Fuck him up. If I understand correctly, your wife is under a very particular magical contract. To break such a thing is very hard. Uh, as I recall, Bellasis says the hundredth anniversary of the bargain is often an auspicious moment. Arabella. I have his book here. Lady Pope. As I understand it, the death of the Enchanter brings to an end all such contracts. Immediately. No English magician has ever killed a fairy. Not since the Raven came. But it can be done. Mr. Strange, it is my strong advice that you do not set yourself against him. You will only bring a worse fate upon yourself. <coughs> upon those around you. What worse fate could I suffer, tell me? I am dying and my wife is a prisoner of the creature you unleashed upon the world. I do not know what you're talking about. I do not know any creature. I do not know what you mean. Enough. He cheated me. Of course he cheated you. That is his nature. You knew that as well as anyone. You will have read it in your books. I only meant to do it once. I tried time and time again to prevent you from falling into my mistake. You might have done that by telling me the truth. You cannot kill a fairy. This is your responsibility, Mr. Norrell. All that has happened has been a direct consequence of your actions. You unlocked a door that had been sealed for centuries and you had not the courage to close it again. I'm sorry. But I have absolutely no idea how to help you. I do not have the knowledge to fight or defeat a fairy. And if I get it wrong, my wife would be lost forever. So I set to thinking. And I thought how there was one man in all the world. In all the worlds that ever were who would know how to defeat my enemy. One man who would know what magic to do. I realized the time had come to speak to him. But I must tell you that I no longer regard myself as your superior. My, my reading has been more extensive than yours. I did not mean you. I meant John Bo's glass. The Raven King. No magician has killed a fairy since he. I intend to summon him here. I intend to place all of English magic into his hands. And then I shall command him to do it. There is a danger, sir. That if we succeed in breaking the spell, the lady will return to the state she was in before. Namely, death. She has often said she would rather be dead than as she now is. You should try what you can do. Summoning the Raven King is a very dangerous idea. The greatest difficulty is that we do not know what to call it. The spells of summoning, especially the old spells of election, require that one be most particular about names. Surely John Usglass is his name. No, that is the name of the Norman aristocrat who the Raven King, our John Usglass, claimed as his father, but that is most disputed. It need not matter that we do not know his name. Of course it matters! He was stolen into fairy before he could be christened. If we use an no, ordinary... No, he became the nameless slave, Mr. Strange. Nameless slave. if we use an ordinary English spell of summoning, then we can make the elements of the spell identify him for us, can we not? No, 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 no. of course we cannot. I, no, I never heard of such a thing. This house was built upon the Raven King's land, correct? With stones from the King's Abbey. The river that runs outside bore the King on its waters. And in... And in 
in my garden is a pear tree. That is a direct descendant of some pips that the king spat out when he sat in the garden. If we let the abbey stones be our envoy, the river be our path, and the orchard pears be our hansel, then we may name him simply the king. And the rivers, the stones, and the trees, they do not know any other. Which summoning spell should we employ? This book contains the best I know. you used to summon Maria Rapson. This is my book. I could not destroy it utterly, Mr. Strange. It is the most beautiful book of magic I have ever read. I will fetch some pears. Requires a spell. What about Drake's restoration of flown tranquility? Oh. John say, perhaps, or Martin Pale's record. Come along, hey. gents. We must know something to the point. We are all magicians, and England is full of magic. I do know one spell that might. Do the magic. Wait here a moment. I suggest we go to Hurtview and seek out Mr. Strange. Well, that is just what we must not do. And why is that, sir? Strange wishes my wife to remain bound. He instructs her to stay there. This is why she sleeps. Spell to join together two articles which have parted. I have been wrong. This was not meant to be. Tells Lady Pole to wait. Why? You know the enchanter, Mr. Black. The man with the answers. He is hanged. Which man? He was the book of the Raven King. He said, My fortune was written on his body, and the fortune of your masters. Thank you, us. I helped hang him. Where did you hang him? Huh? Where did you hang him? In a ravine, not far from here. I have had his spell for a long time. Stop! Stop! You must not let them do the magic. What? He will punish them. Secundus, wait! Stop! Stop! Stolen her from me. Thieves. English thieves. Stephen! Why have you brought me back? I was supposed to stay. I was to show Mrs. Strange the safe path out. My darling. Oh, no, my darling. Not yours. Huh? I was sold. Bargained away for the sake of a wicked man's career. What are you saying? My own. Mrs. Strange will be lost. <sighs> Lady Pole is gone. It is too soon. You told me children must have my letter. No, I said he had a box. So I do not know anything about him. We must do the magic now! What happened? I'm off, Mr. Black. I have to find a hanged man. Please let me free. <gasps> Open his door! Open his door! Let me out! Why does he not despair, Stephen? Why does he not just stay as he is meant to and die? Stephen, what are you doing in that tiny room? Are you ready? 
the hands are shaking. Just because I'm afraid. My hands trembled like that in the peninsula and after Waterloo. Sometimes it was a sign that I was afraid. Sometimes a sign that I was doing great magic. The two things go together. Mr. Strange, you've been in the darkness longer than I. You will die first. If we should fail in this, then I will continue trying to free your wife with all my power for as long as I live. I do not believe we are destined to fail. This is the magic we were born to do. They have locked you in, Stephen. They have bound you fast. We must go and kill them all. It is rare that anyone released from an enchantment is permitted to live long. Not if I have enchanted them. Come, Stephen! Let the Abbey Stones be the envoys sent to save the king. Let the hurt few beg be the path by which the king shall come. Let the fruit from the orchard trees be the hansel the king will receive. And let the moment of this flame's death be the, be the time, time the king shall appear. This is my body, sir. You've been warned, sir. Let him be. Let him... Oh. We must summon him back, quickly. Kings do not do as other men. He has come, he saw the same. Do not just stand there. What is his fairy name? That is lost. What about that other thing you mentioned, that the nameless... The nameless slave. That is what he calls himself in the prophecy. Let us try that. The Black King, the King in the North, the Nameless Slave. That is extremely imprecise. You hands, sir. You hands! Uh, I've changed. Uh, I've changed. I do not say what I said before. What do you say now? I don't know. Books cannot read themselves. Uh, come on. Uh, uh, I must bring you to my masters. Uh, come on. What gift will you offer him? I will return his magic to him. The magic of England's trees, hills, her sunlight, her water, earth, and stones. Stephen! Come. Sir, I beg you, please, do not harm a lady ship. My dear, beautiful, indifferent lady. Stand behind me, Emma. Do no such thing. I have in mind for you a fate so exquisite.
Who is it? I have had my fill of you gentlemen taking what you want of me. Sorry, thank you. But I have my voice now, and I say, you are a bore, sir. An uncivilized, unsightly, filthy bore. With your tasteless clothes and with your hair like thistle down. Thistle down. So perhaps it was. What something. on earth is it, Stephen? Why are you firing walnuts at me? You need to give him a token, a proper physical artifact to signify the gift. And what token could possibly signify that you would give him all of English magic? No. No, not my books. No, no, he cannot have my books. I'm not about to stand here and summon the most powerful magician who has ever lived and say to him, I offer you all of English magic apart from, I am sorry, Gilbert Norrell's books. Half of them. Mr. Norrell! We will both soon be dead. There will be no leisure for reading. Two thirds. This lady is under our protection. Return to your other lands, fairy, and... Release them! If you lay one hand on her, I swear I will. You have not the right, sir. For years you have been quite happy. To see your beloved endure her trial. I have been no such thing. What? <laughs> you sold her and blinded yourself to the consequence. I command the magic of England's stones, trees, wind, and water to rise up. Release them. Release them! Now you may kill them. He has despised you. He took your name, and she has treated you like a servant. <laughs> I command all of English magic to put itself into the hands of the Black King. The King in the North. The Nameless Slave. He has made you a slave. He's made me as much a slave as you have. I command them to bring him here and bind him to kill the Master of Lost Hope. Kill him. Kill him! <laughs> Butler! 
comes to normal. I have but one shot, and I mean to use it. Mr. Lascelles, come here. Come here by my side. I will do no such thing. What have you done? channel all of English magic into a butler and shot him. Stephen, the most noble soul in the whole world is gone oh. from us. And the world shall be punished! Mr. Strange? Mr. Strange? Oh, please, no. Please. still has all of English magic inside him. There may be something we can do. If we can find him before he takes his last breath, we can instruct him, but we must find him now. They've gone to lost hope. I cannot follow him there by the king's roads. The fairy has closed the path. But not for me. And mirrors are not the only way to travel. for rain. There is nothing wrong with good English rain. And the Black Tower has not followed us here. Fairy magic is seductive, Mr. Strange, because by its very nature, it is instinctual, impulsive, and unpremeditated. But the creature uses allegiances with the forces of nature within the Christian world. Our world, not his. Ergo, his curse will not affect us here. Oh, Stephen, you are full of magic. This recalls me to my youth. Oh, I once pictured myself a dashing magician traveling to Paris. Come, Mr. Norrell. We have work to do. Spells of perception were covered in the study plan. This enchantment is in Sutton Grove. Go, do your magic. I will look for the butler. Yes. <laughs> 
shall be kings together. You in England, I in lost hope. It is destined that I should kill the king and take his place. And now I see that you are that king. Oh, Steve. Oh, Arabella! You alone. It will lead you to my friends. I will follow. Do you promise me? Jonathan! No, no, no! no, no. magician has ever killed a fan. I'm not at all sure how we did it, but it is done. I must go to my wife. England is full of magic, and it should be used. You are a great magician, Mr. Noll. And you are my friend. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. We're trapped. We're still in the darkness. He is dead. His spell cannot outlive him. I do not know. Can it? We know so little about this magic. I cannot die. We're we are but men! <laughs> Mr. Strange, I've been under this spell for too long. Mr. Strange. Jonathan. Jonathan. My friend. 
will not leave you, Jonathan. Do not be afraid. Look at me. See? I am not afraid. I am not afraid. Wellington's the man, they say, to be Prime Minister. He has the taint of magic on him, to be sure, but... Tell me, do you still enjoy dancing? I'm going to the continent, Sir Walter, to help my friend. I do not intend to live here again. I will not go from one kind of helplessness to another. from England? No. I'm afraid he's not returned. He was so desperately in love with you, Mrs. Strange. It is here. They believe it is still cursed. Jonathan, I will come and I will find you. And I will bring you back myself. My wife. My love. Goodbye. Jonathan, no, Jonathan, Jonathan.
Some years ago, there was in the city of York a society of magicians. Some of them were gentlemen magicians, but only some of them. For things were not quite as they were before magic came back. Mr. Tantony and I, that was just strange, and he's a book thief and a murderer. He certainly murdered his wife and probably Mr. Norrell too. Gentlemen! Some of you may remember me. I was here some years ago when Mr. Norrell did the magic at the Minster. My name is John Childermas. I was until last month a servant of Gilbert Norrell. I've summoned you here to tell you your agreement with my old master is void. You are magicians once more, if you wish to be. For whatever good it'll do you. Is Mr. Strange coming? Uh, what about Mr. Norrell? You must make do with me. Where are the books? All the books of magic in England have gone with them, except for one. This is a book Nora long desired and never saw. A book Strange did not even know existed. It is the Raven King's book. It held their fates once, and it may still. It is my hope that we may decipher its meaning together. Inculus. It was a prophecy before. The things he has foretold have come to pass just as they were ordained by the Raven King himself. And now, his words have changed. What are you now, sir? I don't know. Maybe I'm a recipe book. Or a collection of pompous sermons. Or perhaps I am a novel. <laughs> I hope you are what you always have been. The key to our future. Maybe even theirs. Where have they gone, Childermas? Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. I do not know. Wherever magicians used to go, perhaps. Beyond the sky. On the other side of the rain. 